Hello everybody! How's it going? I hope my iPhone doesn't fall over while I'm filming. I am pretty pissed right now. Um, British people, no, I'm not drunk at 11 in the morning. I mean that I'm a bit upset because I just made a 17 minute freaking video that did not work. Because I got this brand new MacBook Pro, which is awesome, and I tried to take a video using Photo Booth and the whole thing had the um, visuals and the sound not synced, which sucked, so I'm trying it again. Um, okay, so I wanted to make a video about new feelings I've had about my gender and about being, like, questioning being trans or being in between male and female, because I've had some new thoughts for once, so I thought it might be helpful to share with people, because I often get comments or messages from people who say they feel like me, or they're questioning, so I just wanted to share my process with you. And I look kind of blue in this video. <laughs> I hope it doesn't stay that way. Oh well. Um, anyway, so for the past few months I've been feeling a lot of like gender dysphoria, body dysphoria. I've been questioning whether I'm trans, as I've often done for the last, like, at least seven years or something, and, um, I really have wanted to try to figure it out this time because I am sick of going back and forth constantly, like, several times a year, and sick of obsessing, so I just want it to be done with. So I've been thinking in a lot of depth and a lot of detail about whether I want to transition or not. Um, so, um, my thoughts, my new thoughts, kind of start with some comments that I got on my last video, um, which, where I was talking about why aren't there more butches on YouTube, um, why aren't there more people like me who are not transitioning, but are kind of questioning or something. So one of the comments was something like, most butches don't question their gender, so that's why they're not here. And I thought, oh, well, maybe that's true. I assumed that all butches, like butch women, felt like me. Like, they, maybe they questioned their gender or had issues with their um, bodies sometimes. But I thought, well, actually, maybe that's not the case. Maybe I am different. Hmm. And another kind of similar comment that I got on the video was that um, it seems like a lot of butches don't know about YouTube as a place for vlogging and community, and I thought, oh, hmm, well, maybe that makes sense, because how did I find this vlogging community on YouTube many years ago? That was because I googled FTM or something like that, and that's exactly how I found it. So if butches who are okay with their bodies and their gender don't Google search FTM, yeah, they wouldn't find it. So that was interesting, so I was like, okay, well maybe I'm different. Maybe I should think more about transitioning. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just haven't, like, accepted that that is what would be best for me or something. So I've been thinking about it so much, so much. And, um, I kind of came close to wanting to transition lately. Um, but then I, I just never got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm actually, actually going to do it and I'm gonna take steps to do it. I just don't quite want it enough, or I don't quite feel that it's right enough for me to actually get to that point, which I think I need to accept because that's always how it's been, always how it has been for me. Um, so it's like, am I gonna transition? It just does not look like I'm gonna do that. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I just don't think it's quite, quite right enough for me, although I come close. Um, uh, what else? Oh yeah, and one thing that got me to that point in my thinking was that recently I rejoined the gym, which I had not been at for a really long time because cycling is my thing and I much prefer to exercise outdoors, but after having surgery on my right shoulder for impingement, uh, like in October, like three months ago or four months ago or whatever, um, I had a bike accident involving slipping on wet pavement, landed directly on the shoulder, broke it, broke this upper arm bone, 
just like four and a half weeks ago. Um, and I also extremely horribly sprained my left wrist, so I was rather helpless for a while, and I won't be able to bike for at least a couple more months. Which sucks. So I rejoined the gym so I could at least get some decent exercise on the elliptical, and I I saw men there, obviously, and this was the difference, that there I saw men with fewer clothes than I usually see them with, because they're wearing, like, shorts and t-shirts or tank tops or something at the gym, whereas in my normal life, not at the gym, I often see guys, like, with long pants, with a jacket or something, because it's freezing cold winter here in California, and, um, and then in the media, TV, movies, magazines, where, of course, they're all made to look very ideal, and so I saw these guys at the gym that were fit and good-looking, but furry and just kind of, like, bulky in this way that I don't really want to be, even though I want more muscles. I don't know that I would really feel comfortable being, like, kind of, like, thick and bulky in the same way that testosterone-based creatures are. Um, so after experiencing that, I was like, I just don't feel like transition would make me feel more comfortable than I am right now. So that was interesting and useful. And um, yeah, so I've been in therapy because I wanted to go back to my therapist to figure this gender stuff out. Because as I said, I'm sick of deliberating about it on and on and on and on. I want to do new thought techniques, you know, think about stuff in new ways so that I can get out of this cycle of circular thinking. And it's actually been really helpful. One homework assignment that my therapist had me do, which I'd recommend to other people, it was very interesting and helpful, is to write letters from the, like, male or masculine side of myself to the feminine slash female part of myself. Um, not that I always view them as distinct parts, but I think it's a useful exercise to do that. It was really helpful, so you should try it out if you're questioning or something, or if you have mixed thoughts. Um, so I did it both ways like that, and I also ended up writing like a dialogue between them. This was so helpful because usually when I think about gender, like this one part will be like, oh, I want to transition, and the other part's like, no, 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 and the other one's like, Rrr. and they just go at each other back and forth without either side getting a chance to really complete a thought, which is hard. So writing these letters gave, gave me a chance to have each of these parts of myself share their thoughts without being interrupted. It was much more valuable than I would have expected. So um, the conclusion that I came to, or I guess the observation that I had, having done that, is that each part of me, like the female aspect and the male aspect, really want to exist and don't want to be got rid of. Uh, so that's a little troublesome in a way, but I had the thought, well maybe if I sort of made a compromise between them, that would help me mentally. And I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this. I think it would be useful. Mm. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this. I have a cold, which is why I sound the way that I do. Anyway, so the compromise between the parts of myself. Um, I was thinking, what do each of them most want? And how could I make one part happy and the other part still be okay? Um, I feel like I was saying this, I have a split personality, but it's not, it's not like that. I don't have, uh, that sort of mental disorder. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. <coughs> it's just a useful way of thinking about it. So, um, I guess, okay, so, one thing. I was thinking of labels, because, as you know from my previous videos, I do feel this mental need for a label, it makes me feel secure. So I was like, well, I'm not like totally trans because I am okay with my body in some ways and I'm not gonna transition, it doesn't look like. Um, 
so I was like, well, butch woman, I don't know, I don't totally um, identify as purely a woman, because I do have these trans feelings. Um, and then genderqueer, well, I just don't totally like that either, because it's not that specific, because somebody could be feminine presenting and be genderqueer, so it, it's just not specific enough to me. And also, I don't like the word queer that much. I mean, I've used it and heard it for many years, but I just never got over the fact that queer sounds negative to me. Um, I mean, if other people feel okay with it, that's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't use it. It's just for me personally, I don't really like to be called that because to me, I view queer as a synonym for weird. And do I want to call myself weird? No, I don't like that. So I don't really want to call myself genderqueer. So I, I was thinking, well, I usually describe myself when I'm talking about gender as in between. I often say things like, well, I feel in between male and female. So I was like, well, why don't I just label myself that? I mean, even if other people don't use that, even if it's not a common label, it fits for me, so why not if it works? And it does, because that is really how I feel in between male and female. Um, so I like that. I'm going to stick with that, I think, for now anyway, until I change my mind. Uh, and I was also thinking about the, the term trans butch. I've heard that before a tiny bit. And I, I could kind of go for that, because it's a combination of trans and butch, which is kind of what I am. Um, so I found that useful and helpful and kind of peaceful to think about that stuff. And then, so as for the aspects of this compromise that I'm thinking of between the different parts of myself, um, I was like, well, what if I at least among my friends, went by the name that I chose for the male or masculine part of myself, which I really like. It feels really fitting for me, uh, which is West, W-E-S-T. Um, I like it because it's not a traditional man's name, like Robert or Stephen or Jonathan or something. That kind of name would not feel fitting for me at all. I like it because it's like kind of gender neutral in a way, but masculine. Uh, and then it also has meaning for me because, well, um, it's actually kind of convenient. I already have my compass star tattoo with only the W labeled because west is the most meaningful direction for me. I live on the west coast and the west in general feels like my home. It feels like where I'm really truly meant to be in this like meaningful spiritual kind of way. Um, uh, yeah, so I like West. So you all feel free to call me West. I want to try it out. Uh, so that feels like a nice compromise that both parts of myself could go for and it makes that male part of myself feel more validated so that it's maybe not as likely to uh, keep bashing its head against the wall thinking about transition. Um, and also another aspect of the sort of compromise that I'm thinking about is maybe the possibility of top surgery. This will take a lot more thought, I'm not really sure. Um, and as with so many other aspects of gender in my body, I'm a little split on it because <clears throat> part of me thinks it would be really exciting, just wonderful and so freeing, and that it would totally fit for me. Um, but then at the same time, I'm a little hesitant just because it's such a big deal. I mean, any surgery, especially that changes how you look, is a really big deal. So, I'll, I'll think more about that, but, yeah, it's a possibility, maybe. Um, and um, then another aspect, kind of like the last aspect of the compromise that I've really thought about is just having a different mental attitude or um, different mindset. So here's an example, like, um, I tend to always be very self-conscious about the more masculine, I guess you say, 
uh, parts of my appearance, like the fact that I wear boxers, like essentially all the time. So if I'm out in public or even, well, not so much with friends, but I guess just like out in public or at the gym or something, if I kind of like lean over and uh, the edge of my boxers shows, I get really self-conscious about that because I am afraid that people will think that I'm weird or like a pervert or something like that, that I'm female and I'm wearing men's underwear. <laughs> and, um, but I was thinking maybe I should approach it like this, like not be afraid of it. Just think, no, I am in between. I am not just a woman. I am West, so of course that's what I'd be wearing. Bitch. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was very rude and misogynistic. I will not say that again. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that, that type of stuff, that kind of a mindset. I think that could help. Of course, it takes energy. It's hard to mentally stand up for oneself, but I think it, I think it would be something good for me to work on. Uh, so I think that's pretty much about it. Luckily, this video is not quite as long as the one that I made that didn't work. <sighs> anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for your comments and everything. See you later.